live in the first part of October, and I was on my laptop, and I saw this this meme. It was an aerial shot of Wall Street, and it said, you know, according to the media, nothing is happening here. Just move on. Bill Clinton signed off on the Financial Service Modernization Act, the Commodity Futures Modernization Act, that made all these financial swindles legal. Like derivatives? All the der collateralized debt obligations, yeah. credit default swaps. All of that was made legal in a bipartisan, Republican-led Senate working with the Democrat Bill Clinton. I have a friend, Corey, at Occupy Wall Street. He's a major part of the movement there. I was there for five days, and he said we need, he needs people out there. He needs us to go out there to uh, Occupy Wall Street and show our support. Um, so I, um, I think that each Occupy in North America uh, should send people out there to Occupy Wall Street. That's the most important thing, is what you're doing. You just keep doing it. It sends a real message, I think, that people are in the streets because it's the only other way to get your voice heard if you don't play the game the way it's been played with lobbyists, congressmen who are too much influenced by lobbyists, corporate money that influences the politicians. This is the really the only alternative, so don't let them convince you to come inside, put on a suit, and hire a lobbyist. That's how you lose. This is how you win. People coming together, uh, such a diversity of people. I mean, there were, there was social justice warriors. There were people that were talking about economic justice, um, environmental justice. There were all sorts of religious groups and sexual orientations. And it, it, it was not just Democrat and Republican. There, there were other parties there. Uh, other philosophies. I'm here at um, the Occupy LA today talking to some people, you know, sharing some ideas. And, uh, you know, it's good seeing people come out and support and, you know, just kind of bring that sense of community back. Because remember that we are all atoms that vibrate at the very core of who we are as human beings. Uh, I saw the same thing in New York, Occupy Boston as well as Occupy LA. The focus is on corporate free. It talks about individual liberty, it talks about social justice, it talks about democratic accountability, especially the 1% who own 40% of the wealth.